St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Miramichi, New Brunswick, for a special intention. One of the remarkable features of our televised Mass is the support it receives from coast to coast. We are truly a national community at prayer. Today our thanks go out to you in Miramichi, New Brunswick for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of God, the love of Christ, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we begin our celebration, let us recall that we are in the presence of the risen Christ and that we do need his continuing mercy and forgiveness. Lord, you came preaching the kingdom of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you gave yourself unto death for us. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you were raised to the fullness of life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, our Father and Protector, without you, nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God had created the man and put him in the garden. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the earth the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds of the air and to every animal of the field. But for the man, there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of man this one was taken. Therefore, a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. The word of the Lord. Children will be like all the 
submit to the word planted in you it can save your souls The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus set out and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. Yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast out the demon from her daughter. Jesus said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, for saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. 